Hi everyone, welcome back to That Japan Life. It's me, Jill. Yes, this channel is still alive, and despite not having made any content for more than a year, I am back, and I'm back for good. Now, when I was starting out my channel, one of the first series that I did was on how to use the different appliances in your Japanese apartment. And based on the messages and the comments that I've been getting on YouTube, apparently people find that very useful, especially with the recent return of foreign travelers to Japan as the country has eased its restrictions brought about by COVID-19. And so as a comeback, today I will be making a guide on how to use your Japanese dishwasher. To all my Airbnb using friends out there though, don't get too excited because I read somewhere that only about 26.9% of Japanese households have dishwashers. So if you're one of the lucky ones and you end up in an apartment with a Japanese dishwasher, this guide is for you and I hope you find it useful. Also just a disclaimer that for this guide, I'm going right back to the basics, like how to prep the dishes before you even use the machine. And the reason why I do that is because before using the machine that I now have at home. I actually did not know at all how to use a dishwasher. I come from a country where it's not really that common. So I've always just washed dishes by hand. And so just in case there are also foreigners like me who are not really familiar with how to use dishwashers like in general, and I'm going right back to the basics of how to use the machine. If you, on the other hand, have been using dishwashers all your life and you're just worried about what the buttons mean and all that stuff, well then good for you. <laughs> and you can just go to this timestamp to go directly to the information about the buttons. If you're still with me at this point, then you also probably come from a country where dishwashers are not really common. And so let's take it right back to the basics, okay? So the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that there are no leftovers or like obvious dirt on your dishes. Generally, that just means like rinsing your dishes under running water or maybe like scrubbing it with a sponge just very lightly because you don't want to waste your time. That's why you're using this machine, right? However, if you have dishes where there is like really hard dirt to get. So for example, if you made gratan, which is something that I make very often for my family, then the pasta or the melted cheese would get hard on the dishes and that's not something that the dishwasher can readily get rid of. So you want to get those out before you even put the dish inside the dishwasher. Let's open our dishwasher and the way we do that is just by holding this handle here and then pulling this out. Now on to putting the dishes inside the dishwasher. Now what you want to do is you want to have the dirty surface facing inwards. That is where the water and the soap and the bubbles will come from. So you want the dirty surface facing inwards. This model that we have at home is actually pretty helpful with arranging because it has these like illustrations, markings about where to put what. So this here you can see is an illustration of a bowl. So that's for the chawan. And then this tray here, is for the spoons, the forks, and the chopsticks, and all those things that are slender and can be stood up. And then obviously these rails here are for the plates. Now this one is where you put the cups. Once you have all of the dishes arranged inside the dishwasher, the next thing you want to do is of course to add detergent. Now make sure that you have specific detergent that is meant to be used for dishwashers. In Japan, you could go to any drugstore and you could ask for Shokerai Senyo no Senzai. So you could go to any drugstore or supermarket and they sell those. Personally, I don't like to use too much detergent, so about this much is good for this many dishes. Now on to the buttons. For this model, the first button that I push is this one here, which says course. It lets me choose among the three different types of washing cores as indicated to its left. And for this machine, we have three choices. Here, this one means Hyojun, and that means like the standard course. So that's pretty much really just what I use every day. I very rarely use the other choices, but yes, so if it's your first time or you know, you're just, you just want to get it done, or you're just not really very picky when it comes to washing your dishes, then just go with this one. That's Yojun, 
which means standard. And then here we have another choice and it says Nen Iri. So this is recommended for times when you have dirt on your dishes that is hard to get or when you use your dishes for eating something that's really oily. It's just like a more thorough washing basically. And then lastly, you have kanso, which means drying. So maybe you washed your dishes by hand and then you just want to use this machine for drying them out. Now, the reason why choosing the course for this specific model can be a bit confusing is because of this button here. Now, this one says high key and it means the exhaust. So obviously, when the dishes are being dried, steam will come out from your dishwasher. And what this high key choice lets you do is it lowers the temperature of the steam that comes out from the dishwasher. Because of that, however, choosing this means that the drying time will be longer. It adds approximately 40 minutes to the drying time. The standard drying time is about 18 minutes. Personally, I don't really use this feature and just go straight with a Yojun or standard wash. Pressing the course button lets you cycle through the choices, and the current option you're on would have the light on its label lit up. If you want to have the high key feature turned on, make sure that it's light, along with whatever course you choose is turned on. This model also comes with a scheduler that lets you set the wash to start in 4 hours. As you can see, it says 4. Again, I don't really use this option, but if I were to use it, I just have to make sure that the light and its label is lit up by pressing this button. Okay, since I don't really want to use that option right now, all that's left for me to do is to press this start button here and then close the machine. You'll know that it started washing because you can hear this rumble of water coming in. Notice that this light here, which says Unten, will also be on. In an hour or so, you'll know that your wash is done because you'll hear a long beep and the Unten light will be turned off. So that's it for this guide on how to use dishwashers in Japan. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any requests for things that you want me to make guides on, let me know in the comments. Thank you.